we get to a lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson. All right, so here he is, DC, the one, the only, Tony Ferguson, the former UFC interim lightweight champion and the man who was the first to accrue a double-digit winning streak in the division, 155 pounds, that most people believe is the best and deepest in the UFC. It has long been the deepest division in the UFC, and Tony Ferguson has maneuvered his way through that and had eventually captured the interim lightweight championship. One of the most diverse strikers that you've ever seen. I mean, the elbow he hit against Josh Thompson to split him open oh. was unbelievable. And couple that with the college wrestling background. Right. And every time you step into the octagon with Ferguson, you know you're going to have your hands full. From him walking to the octagon dancing, to getting in there and being so free-flowing, Tony Ferguson is one of the best fighters on the UFC roster. He really thrives under the bright lights. He is a finisher of the highest order. His training habits are truly the stuff of legend. Eddie Bravo talks about this guy training for six hours straight. Oh. Probably ill-advised for most fighters, <laughs> but El Kukui can do it. He can do it. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go. Can you believe this fight is finally upon us? Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson. Joe Silva wanted to make this fight as far back as 2015. Both fighters got through their training camps. It shall be done. I am so excited about this fight. This is a fight that we have wanted for so long. When you're talking Joe Silva, the boss has been retired for a minute. Right. That's how long this fight. It was destined to happen, and now we finally are here. I cannot wait for Ferguson versus Nurmagomedov. Finally. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Liam mixed it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Watch it, there's the one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this jump man. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nurmagomedov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Down to his mouth. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And he landed the right hand there. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nurmagomedov. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Ferguson. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Ferguson's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> 45 seconds to go here in round one. All right, side control now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Ferguson's got the full mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now connects with the right. A lot of top pressure being applied here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Both guys have absorbed a lot of punishment here tonight. Exciting fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round.
All right, round two. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice connection. That's like Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had a pair for a fighter like this. And you're I've never seen anything like that. And I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And they separate. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Huge knee lands from close. Oh, another knee by Nermago Metal. The number's 122 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. And connecting with 76% accuracy, too, against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Deal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ferguson. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Three minutes to go. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Trying to recover full guard there. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Nermago Metal. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nurmago Medov's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Not tapping out tonight. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hip and get back to your feet. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. One minute. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Nermago Meta. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round.
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nirago Meta. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Nermago Meta. Well, the opponent seemed to think he had shored up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit the takedown attempt after the takedown attempt. Ferguson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Nice hammer fist. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Marco Medov's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, that is not a misprint, folks. Just over 215 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Not a whole lot of misses by my count. Unofficially 77% accuracy in this one against Tony Burgess. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job. Not oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. in trouble. Wow. Oh, right in the mouth. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. And now he's in a guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. And if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. 
All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Pretty good book with the strikes here off of his back by Nurmagomedov. The ground and pound has been there all night. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Ferguson, ground and pound from half court. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Lands a strike down from the bottom. Nice work there by Nurmagomedov. So there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Engages in the single collar tie. Magomedov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. He's having his way with him here. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Ferguson. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity patch. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Nurmagomedov. Solid strike on the ground. Ferguson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Work from the top here by Nurmago Meta. Just over three minutes to go now. Grounded pound strike is true. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Nurmago Medov. Lands the ground and pound strike here. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's got his back now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 90 
seconds now to go on the round. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Swing and a miss by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack it over and over again. Ferguson gets caught by the inside leg kick. And they separate. It's such a fast leg kick. Take down a template, and it's good. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many impacts. Pretty significant result on the left side. Well, a nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Effective punch there by Tony Ferguson. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Two 
minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nurmagomedov. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ferguson. All right, watch out for the setup here, DC. I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell at the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm bet, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he doesn't do it again or something. Well, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Oh, nice. Absolutely incredible submission victory for him here late in the fight, and that can be hard after several rounds of fighting. You're fatigued, a lot of clinch work, which is exhausting. The technique sometimes can suffer. It did not suffer for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number five. To claim the winner by tap out, Tony Alcapuli Ferguson! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.